Hi angels, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. What is up you guys? I am back. This is your first time on my channel. My name is Evan. What is up? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys are thriving and I hope you're happy and I hope you're smiling. I hope you're drinking your water. I hope you're doing your skincare. Um, I've been doing my skincare, but I'm getting these little shits lately because my fucking skin hates me all the time. But how are you guys? Y'all, today I am so excited. We are going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm just gonna be sitting down talking to you guys and I'm gonna be giving you guys a life update because my life has been updated, baby. There's just been so much stuff happening in my life, in my personal life, in my YouTube life. Just everything has been happening so fast. I actually feel so genuinely happy right now. And if you guys have watched my past videos, there's been times where you could see in my eyes like I'm truly not happy. And I actually feel genuinely so, so happy right now in life and just I feel so motivated. Motivated. I feel so happy about where my channel is going about how many videos I'm playing for my channel Like my channel is doing so good right now And I hope that it just continues to and lately everything's just been falling in place and I've been genuinely feeling like clarity like I just feel so good in myself right now And yeah, so today I'm just gonna be giving you guys a life update We're gonna chit chat a little bit about literally everything in my life right now girl And also I'm gonna be doing a little glam so I can post on Instagram But yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm sorry if this intro a lot. I just have a lot of energy right now. Nobody's home, so I can yell and be however loud I want. So yeah, I love filming when no one's home. It's literally perfect. But I'm ready to get into today's video. So if you guys are ready to just have a life update from me and also see me do this glam, I'm so excited to just put some makeup on this face, get into my artistry mode. You guys know it's my favorite thing in the world. So yes, do not forget to give me a big thumbs up down below if you like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you're new here or if you're not subscribing and watch me, girly, please subscribe to my channel. It'll really help me a lot. Without further ado, let's dive in. <laughs> Hey, Alright you guys, so you guys know before we put any makeup on the skin It needs to be nice and moisturized and prepped because you guys know I wear a lot of fucking makeup Like I wear so much makeup So we are going to make sure this face has a good base For all the products that are gonna lay on top of it One of my holy girl products lately that I feel like I have to tell you guys about because oh my god The way that this has changed the way that my skin looks and makeup how my skin feels in makeup My skin feels actually good when I wear this and it's amazing and it is the MAC strobe cream and this one is in the shade gold light i was sent this in pr from mac but guys i'm never gonna say that i like something or put it on my channel to my subscribers and followers and tell you guys about something if i really don't like it but this like you guys this shit is fucking magic like mac thank you for sending me this like oh my god the gold light shade like i'm about to put this on my skin and you guys are about to see i'm not sure how much this retails for i'm gonna put it on the screen but you guys trust me you guys need this in your life it is awesome and it's just like that and gold light means it has like a little bit of a sheen but you guys like do you see that oh my god you can see it on camera Like when I put this on my skin, you're gonna see. This has been my my favorite first step of my makeup routine. It makes my, you guys, the glow. Oh my God, the glow this fucking strobe cream gives you. Like MAC really ate. Like look at this glow. And you guys know I wear really matte products. Like I love my makeup to be super, super matte. And this, literally gives me like the prettiest sheen and it's gorgeous elf power grip primer you guys have seen me use this in many videos i actually use this for the first time in my i have a boyfriend and i'm i don't have a boyfriend and i'm about to turn 18 that video whatever i use this for the first time and this is actually the same bottle and i use it like a lot like this primer is amazing i spoke about it in my affordable makeup video and this is such a good dupe for the milk primer and i was a stand of the milk hydro grip i still am i will still use it but like why when you could get it for like ten dollars this is going to make sure that your makeup doesn't move like that bitch is in place and this with setting powder and like my makeup 
is never coming off. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. e.l.f. just really kills it when it comes to dupes. This primer was a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip and this one was a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And we know that shit is pricey as hell. So that was an amazing thing. e.l.f. e.l.f. really got our pockets like steady. Like e.l.f. loves us that much to give us like dupes that actually work, that are affordable and that are amazing. I think that Putty Primer is like eight, ten dollars Like I think it's $10 now. I think they raised the price. But when she was first initially released, it was literally like $10. I mean, $8. What am I talking about? All right, you guys. So I'm going to start getting ready. I just wet my baby blenders and washed them. And now I'm going to move on to my foundation. This is my Holy Grail Maybelline Superstay. And you guys know I love this. And I've talked about it in some videos. But so you guys, I don't know if you can tell by this video already or just how I'm starting this video. But I feel so like at peace right now with myself. And if you guys don't know me, I am a bit of a hot mess in like the literal sense that I never think that like I'm good enough. I just doubt myself a lot and I have really really high moments like how I'm feeling right now and then I have like really really like low moments but lately it's been more highs and I've just been feeling so good about myself. I've been feeling good about my like like future stuff. I've been feeling good about my YouTube stuff and honestly it's because like you guys make me feel like this you know what I mean like just the way that I always wanted to be a YouTube creator, people who made videos on the internet and like the way that I'm doing it now, it's like so surreal, especially for like younger Evan who felt like he always had to hide himself. Like when I came out of that type of thinking that I had to hide myself, like it was no going back. I'm so proud of how far I've come as like even a boy in beauty. Like who would have thought the kid who was watching all these boys in makeup that would one day become one of them. You know what I mean? Like I want to be one of those people. Like those people were for me. I want to be that for you. You know what I mean? So that's why this is so special. Like I can't wait to like have that with my followers, with the angels, like a connection where it's like if one day like I just want to make you guys feel how other creators made me feel you know how a lot of creators still make me feel like this is such a special thing if you really think about it how uh, you're watching me you're watching this wherever you're watching it, your tv your phone your ipad wherever right and I'm talking to a camera, but I'm connecting with you on a certain level. You know what I mean? Like, it's really crazy. Like, when I first started my channel, there's videos where I'm like, Evan, like, you're so awkward on camera. And, like, I don't blame myself because, like, first talking to a camera and becoming a YouTuber, it's kind of weird because, like, talking to a camera is kind of strange. But, like, it's kind of really cool if you think about it, how the internet and social media has grew so much to the point where we can build connections with people that we don't even know people like watching certain people like imagine you and someone else that you love like watching me like it it would be an honor because i remember me watching my some of my favorite creators with my mom my sister like i just want to be a creator that you watch in the bad times and the good times when you just want something good to watch when you're feeling happy and you're just in a good mood so you want to watch videos like that's how i was as a kid like i would watch videos when i was in the best mood in the saddest mood in the worst fucking main mental state of my life i will watch youtube videos and i can't believe that now I'm like it's the opposite like someone's watching me right now and it's the kid who grew up on YouTube and now is doing it and it's fucking insane and it's you guys that keep me motivated you guys who watch my videos you guys who like my videos you guys who just I don't know just you guys are fucking everything to me and I can't wait to make you so proud one day and just so many videos are coming on my channel I'm gonna be posting at least two to one video a week i'm gonna try to do one because um i do like have things to do but also i feel like i'm in such a point in my life now where this is such a big part of it that i kind of put other things off for this because this is like something that is a huge part of my life that i'm gonna prioritize before i prioritize other things you know what i mean so thank you guys for that and i love you guys so much everyone who watches my videos just know that the creator really appreciates it so much and i love you and appreciate you so very much not for you guys to be like oh my god evan you're so quirky and rebellious and you don't give a shit about what people say but i feel like the reason why i've been happier lately is i feel like i 
me in the right place and also i feel like i kind of stopped caring about what other people think about my life decisions what i want to do with my life what i'm gonna do in my life is not so common with other people i feel like before i used to listen to other people and let it get to me like oh they don't understand like but honestly in life people are not gonna understand why you do certain things or why you want to do what you do honestly you just have to let them sit back and watch what you're gonna do you know like i stopped caring about what people thought about me like when i when i say i stopped caring like i completely stopped caring about what people used to say about me what people would say about me i would always think like oh my god this person like must think this about me this person must think i'm so annoying but honestly i stopped giving like all fucks because like i really don't care anymore and i feel like that had to happen for me to really be happy and find happiness within myself because if you're thinking like about what other people are saying about you or what other people think about you all this stuff you're not really going to grow as a person and it could really stunt your growth but when you don't give a shit about what people say about you and when you're confident in yourself like that really shows in your happiness and in your independence you know what i mean like it really really shows and i feel like that i just stopped caring about what people thought of me lately and it's really really special i just i don't care what people think about me if you think that me doing youtube and me prioritizing what makes me happy and like what i love doing and what i'm gonna do for my future if you think it's fucking pathetic if you think it's not gonna work if you think all this shit about me one i don't want to hear it second of all i honestly don't give a fuck anymore i used to let negative thoughts like that like even thoughts i would tell myself i stopped caring about what the negative side of my brain thought about me because honestly happy me is the best me like i wake up happy i don't wake up cranky i don't wake up sad i don't i wake up with motivation i wake up with optimism i wake up being really really happy and that makes me so happy to see myself happy because i've seen myself in some of the worst points in my entire life years ago or even recently but now i feel like i'm at a point in my life where i'm just ready to accept all the new blessings that the universe has for me and i just really want to work hard and working hard and things that i love like editing videos or filming videos like it makes me so happy like that's how you know your true calling is if what you're doing is making you like so happy to the point that you're waking up smiling because you're so ready to just get up and work even more work even harder then it's your calling and that's so 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 special so i'm honestly proud of myself that i stop getting a fuck about what other people say about me and if you need some time for yourself to make that happen just like i did please take that time for yourself really you have to kind of search in yourself and be like why do i care so much about what other people say and when you realize you don't that can make you so much happier and i hope you guys get to feel that happiness about whatever you do whether you are a nurse whether you want to be a veterinarian if you want to be a youtuber like me you know what i mean um i hope you guys really truly feel that because if you're being forced into doing something in your future that you don't want to do don't do it truly don't do it no one can make you really do anything so don't let people think that they have that power over you and just please be patient with yourself love yourself and please take care of yourself okay <laughs> please so after I did the concealer, I used the e.l.f. one that I always tell you guys about and it's really, really drying because I like a matte finish, but I need to do some cream contour and I need this cream contour to blend. So I'm going to be taking the MAX Prep and Prime Fix Plus, this iconic spray, sprays like that. And I'm going to just be spraying some on the skin. So when I put the other cream products on it, it like glides really nicely and blends out. Cause like i said the concealer i use is very drying so i'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna get into some cream contouring the other day i was actually talking with my mom and i was telling her i was like if you guys don't know i turned 18 in november and i'm so excited i actually have a 18th birthday transformation coming where the other day i was telling my mom and i was like mom i can't wait till i turn 18 because i feel like since i was little 18 has been such a symbolic age for me and where i was like you know what like i'm gonna do whatever i want when i turn 18 and i feel like as i grow up and now that i'm 17 years old i feel that even stronger because the more that i think about it i feel like 18 is like the age where you truly start to come into yourself and you kind of like are an adult now and i feel like 
I always saw 18 as like, Evan, it's your time to really focus on yourself and do whatever makes you happy. And I, like I said, like I feel like even more that I'm actually growing up now. And it's kind of insane because I feel like I always said this and I was like, when I turn 18, I feel like it's gonna be such a big transformation for me. And I was telling my mom this the other day and I was like, mom, like I can't wait for like my transformation. You know, like I can't wait to transform like a new chapter, like a new part of my life where I've never been before, new exciting things happening, new things that I'm prioritizing. Like I can't wait for this era of myself, you know? Like I've had certain eras of myself and I can't wait for this one of myself. And I was always like, this is gonna be like the big one that is gonna like change a lot of things about myself. You know what I mean? And she was like, what transformation? Like, are you leaving me? Like, what's going on? I was like, mom, I just mean like a, a transformation in myself, you know, like mentally, physically, like I want to change some things. And I don't mean like plastic surgery, babe. I mean like dyeing my hair, like having more fun. You know what I mean? Like, um, if that's like outfits or whatever, like just doing whatever I want, because I feel like 18 is like really that time where it's like, you know what? I'm an adult now and i'm still young but i'm gonna live my life because you're not this young forever you know and i've really been really excited for that and i can't believe i'm turning 18 like i'm so excited for my 18th birthday video and i'm just so excited i still don't know what i'm gonna do um but shout out to my scorpio babies if you are a scorpio as well and i'm just so excited i feel like it's gonna be such a good just journey and i can't wait to see where the year of 18 takes me and just where this hardworking the bad bitch Evan takes me because I'm really proud of him and when I talk about my self in like that way like I'm so proud of him it's because like I see myself sometimes like as a different person and I don't mean like as a different person but like I'm just so proud of younger Evan so when I say like oh I'm so proud of him it's because I never thought that I would get to where I am today in my confidence and what I'm doing to like really say I don't give a fuck about what other people think about me I'm gonna do what makes me happy and I can't believe that like I'm finally did that and I'm in that part of my life it's really rewarding so I tried like a red shade and it looks like kind of weird and I'm like trying to fix it like I'm literally taking like this huge fucking morphe brush and I'm like trying to pat it out because this is like I, what I like put out my powder with like it's gonna be but like, I don't know if it looks weird, but I didn't want to do like orangey or PG blush if I was going to do like a reddish blackish look. So let's just see how this looks. So if my cheeks look weird as fuck right now, that's why. I'm kind of struggling with it, you guys. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And I'm kind of struggling and having anxiety because this always has to happen when I film. So let's see. But um, now I'm going to move on to highlight so I could go to these eyes and this lip and we can wrap up the video. Alrighty, this video kind of went fast, but I don't know. I always think that, but then when I edit, I'm like, bitch, you fucking spoke a lot. Alright y'all, so I'm making sure that my nose looks really snatched. Like my highlight and stuff like wasn't going good today and I'm like really upset. I'm gonna try to fix it. This I'm is when things started going downhill. Snatched. I don't know what else to talk about in this video, honestly, but that's how the makeup is looking. It's looking super snatched. Um yeah okay you guys so i'm gonna do my eyes off camera because i really want to focus on it and i'm not really sure what else to talk about in this video but yes we're almost closing out the video but i'm gonna go do my eyes off camera and i'll be right back so see you in a little bit let's hope this was my last fucking straw <laughs> All right, you guys, so um, fast forward, my makeup, something didn't end up working out with my makeup and I tried to do a black eyeshadow technique and like my makeup got like really fucked up. But I just wanted to let you guys know that this is the end of the video, you guys. I know, um, really underwhelming because I thought it was gonna end up with like a really snatched look and that didn't end up happening. But I don't really know what to say. It's just how things go, you know what I mean? But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and a little talk that we had. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm so sorry that the video ended like this. Like, what the hell? Um, but that means it just wasn't meant to be. But I'm going to start editing this video. See, if you guys don't see this, if this is not on the internet, wow, Evan, another scrap video. That's just fucking great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. Do not forget to follow all my socials at Evan the Artistry. I will see you guys in my next upload. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being there for me and supporting me. I love you guys so much. And yes, I will talk to you in the next one.